I am Rex, and Rex's ice cream is my ice cream. We use organic ingredients to make the ice cream, um, based in Toronto. So I was making ice cream for, for a while, just for friends and family. The longer I, I kind of made it, the, the better it got. They were asking for like four liter tubs, and I was like, I go there, I could find that, but I could, I could sell you guys pints. It went from friends to friends of friends, and then kind of just said, hey, let me make it like a public thing. My father grew up in Kenya and he was like, yo, I kind of want to take you guys back there and show you like how I grew up. And my perception of what it was back there is just what, what I saw on TV, like huts. And then when you actually go, there's like city centers and businesses and it's, it's beautiful, it's lively and it has its own culture. And I get to see that perspective of like what life is like here. You're growing up poor. Well, then you go there, like you see like true, true poverty. Uh, it's definitely like a, a good culture shock and like I'm, I'm very grateful for my parents for giving me that experience. Going back home, I learned all about my culture and the foods that are a part of my culture, which I didn't kind of get a chance to learn while I was uh, living in Canada. And then I kind of influenced that into my flavor. So one of my flavors is called Somali chai and it's literally Somali tea. Funny enough, a lot of like mothers really like that <laughs> flavor, which is, which is so sick. So I have a, a blueberry pancake flavor that kind of flavor was just my mom <laughs> making pancakes for me in the morning, kind of putting those experiences into the ice cream. It's not really like this flavor will go together, it's more like I'm sharing my, my kind of life experience or memory with you. I make the base, I let it sit for like a day or two, and then that kind of lets all the flavors blend together. I put it in the machine, the machine turns it, and then I add like my mix-ins, and then as I'm putting it in, I layer the ice cream, and then I add cookies on top. Putting an experience into the ice cream, I don't think people do that, and like I honestly care about the ice cream and what I'm putting into the ice cream, and people are trusting me to give them a good product, and like I don't want to betray that trust. I'm, I, I, you know, giving it my all here. It's not something normal for, for a Somali person to make ice cream. And funny enough, like what that does, not just for me, but for people in my community, it gives them the option. Previously, that wasn't an option, and there's not like Somali people in this space. So that's kind of what it's all about, just giving people the option to have like, oh, this is a, this is a potential business opportunity and, and you can do it as a Somali person, you know?